So we have a very special guest tonight, Coltrane. Okay, so you got like a million projects going yeah. on. You're doing a lot of stuff. But let's yeah. take it let's take it back farther than that because okay. you, you seem to have a real interesting history okay. of how you were brought up musically. Yeah. And you had a lot of music in your family. Absolutely. So can you speak on that a little um, bit? How you were brought up? Uh yeah. My father is a former well right now he's a uh he's a uh Baptist minister, but uh in his younger years he was a bass player and guitar player. My mother is a, uh, who, and my father kind of exposed me to a lot of the music that ended up influencing me as a solo artist, especially like, uh, 60s soul, like Stax Records, shit like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I curse? Actually, you can curse on this okay. one. <laughs> um, um, and the Beatles and, sorry, I, it just kind of slipped out. The Beatles, Stevie Wonder, like a lot of 60s soul, a lot of, you know, all, I mean, a lot of blues as well. Um, and my mother sings as well. She kind of taught me basically about the things that are kind of the most special to me and like voices, especially like tone. Like she has a really golden tone mm. and I've always trying to, I've always tried to emulate that to a certain extent. So that's kind of what the foundation of what my sound as a vocalist starts from. My father is like a great storyteller. Yeah. So that was something that I always tried to always lean towards as well. So like writing is, at the top of my list of what I am as an I mean I consider myself an artist but I think more or less I'm kind of like a writer poet in a lot of ways than uh, just like a singer or whatever you want to call that you're a storyteller I think so and the art of storytelling is being lost absolutely <laughs> right so did you grow up singing in the church I did uh, actually the drums were my first instrument but I kind of did that simultaneously with singing there it wow. is. There it is. Mike in the back hitting the drums at the same right, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I guess it was just something in the rhythm, but I wanted to sing as well. I mean, you know, like I said, my mother was a huge influence on me wanting to uh, express myself in voice. Most definitely, most definitely. So, dream collaboration, who would that be? Um, uh, well, in, in, what, in what arena? Uh, like, to with the producer or... Give me your producer and the other, your other, your collaborator, songwriter, uh, yes, singer. It, it, go, it goes in so many <laughs> degrees. It all depends. I got like the the deceased, God bless the dead, of course, and okay. I got modern day producers, and I got uh, you know maybe female singers I would love to sing with. But you know, it just kind of all depends on what. I mean, because right. there's a lot of lot of modern day artists that I really respect as well. Uh, so it just kind of all depends. I, it, you kind of caught me off guard with that. <laughs> one, I'm or two. Left field. One, one or two. One or two. I'm a, I'm a arena. huge. I mean, you know what? The producers I work with right now are really like, like I feel like God, God placed those brothers and 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 sisters in, in my path for a reason. Like they get me. You know what I'm saying? Even of course we're different people. So of course in any kind of arena of collaborating, it's always some kind of, you know, mismatching. But they still have a lot of patience for what, because I'm a real anal strict person about my work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, I'm a huge Outkast fan. Their production has always inspired me. Um, I'm a huge Radiohead fan. Um, I'm a huge Fiona Apple fan. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Uh, and there's so many different people that I, I, I'm a big Van Hunt fan. Um, mm -hmm. So many different artists that I really are, and, am enamored with like we were just listening to flying lotus's album on the way here it's phenomenal yes, it is. um there's so many you know like you were saying before about this the cast from sarah like you know i just i've been blessed to work with a lot of people that i wanted to work with before i met him and we ended up being able to do some things so mm -hmm. i mean uh daedalus uh, i think he's amazing i love uh, that you said fiona apple i love her no one really mentions her that much and i was watching a video What's her going writing going is, through the party her writing is like bananas her writing She's, is she, she just fell off. I would say she got some beats. Her album was great. So I mean, and that goes into like Joni Mitchell, Sarah right. Vaughn. I would, you know, would have loved to been able to, you know, Stevie, of course. So, yeah. you know, like it's it, it varies. Yeah, it's an endless list. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. All different like, genres. You know, it's kind of hard to even really say.